it's me, the ukulele teacher, here with perhaps my most controversial lesson yet. Yes, as you may have heard, Taylor Swift has had the gall, the audacity, to cover the 1970s disco classic by Earth, Wind and Fire, September. Some of you guys love it, some of you guys hate it. But I thought, what the hell, it's still a great song, so let's do a lesson on it. So, grab your banjo lele. Make sure it's in tune, and if you need help tuning your banjo lele, then check out my free app, the ukulele app, right now. And when it is in tune, it should sound like this. By the way, don't worry if you don't have a banjo lele. A banjo lele is tuned exactly the same way as a ukulele, and all the chords and strumming that I teach you will work exactly the same on your ukulele as it does on a banjo lele. In fact, the only difference between a banjo lele and a ukulele is that a banjo lele sounds like a banjo. So before we go any further, please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more lessons like this one, or a thumbs down if you can't stand this Taylor Swift song. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you never miss a lesson. I'm going to post the song sheet on my Patreon page and my Facebook page, so make sure you download it first so you can follow along. Just in case you haven't heard the Taylor Swift version yet, I'm going to play you through a quick verse and chorus first to give you a rough idea of how it should sound when you've learned it. One, two, three, four. The 28th night of September Love was changing the minds of pretenders While chasing the clouds away Our hearts were ringing In the key that our souls were singing As we danced in the night Remember how the stars stole the night away you'll need for the song. If you already know them, then skip ahead now. To play the chord of B, bar the second fret with your first finger. That means you push down on all four strings at the same time. Then add your second finger to the third fret of the third string, and your third finger to the fourth fret of the fourth string. And the chord of B should sound like this. To play the chord of F sharp, slide that whole shape down one fret, but move your second finger over to the second fret of the second string. And the chord of F sharp should sound like this. And to play the chord of C sharp, go back to that B shape, but slide the whole thing up two frets like this. One, two. And the chord of C sharp should sound like this. Now basically, all the way through the entire song, you repeat the same three chords in that order. B to F sharp to C sharp. Over and over and over again. And the strumming pattern that I play is nice and simple too. On the B and the F sharp, I play a nice and slow down, down, up like this. Down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the C sharp, I play a full down, down, up, up, down, up, like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up. So put it all together and the pattern should sound like this. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And when you can play that pattern through without worrying about it over and over again, you've got the entire song. So let's go ahead and play through the verse and chorus again. This time, join in with me. Do you remember the 28th night of September? Love was changing the minds of pretenders while chasing the clouds away.
And basically you just carry on repeating that B to F sharp to C sharp pattern all the way through and you've got the entire song. And that's how to play the Taylor Swift version of September by Earth, Wind and Fire. I'll be back soon with some more great lessons and videos for you. If you have any requests for future lessons then let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I love you all and I wish you the best.